I fell in love with these Lucite flower earrings at uh, my local bead store. They had them in all different colors and I thought it would be a really fun way to practice a few basic wire wrapping techniques. They also have a similar product at some of the mainstream craft stores like Michael's and Joann's, so I think you'll definitely be able to find something similar where you are. So don't hesitate to pick these guys up. And if you're not sure what to do with them, this project is a great way to start incorporating them into your jewelry design. To make a pair of earrings, you're going to need two of uh, two large watermelon colored resin flowers. You're going to need two tubular flowers that are able to fit inside there. Don't be afraid to, you know, just handle them at the bead store and make sure that they fit the way you want to. And then you'll need one or two, I'm sorry, center uh, flower centers. In this case, I used faceted crystals. In addition, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need multi-loop pliers. I like to use those um, because it gives me nice consistent loops at the end. You can use round nose pliers if you prefer. Definitely need some wire cutters and some chain nose pliers. Another optional but highly recommended product to include in this is hypo cement. It, uh, I like to glue the two flower resin pieces together, that way they don't kind of move around when you're wearing them. I don't like to hear the, the lucite clicking. And then they stay nice and secure right there in your, in your ear. Okay, so to get started, you are first going to string on your, whatever your center bead is, in this case, blue crystal for me, and then one white tube flower, a trumpet flower I should say, and then your larger watermelon flower. Now you should add your, if you're going to use hypo cement, this is a great time to add that. I like to use a little tray when I use this because as you can see this gets a little messy here in a minute. This is a great almost instant glue for jewelry making. It's a very precise tip so that you can get it just where you want it and hopefully not anywhere else. Once it starts coming out of here, let's see. Oh, there we go. So you just add it in here. Sort of secure that back in there. And I find the best way to let this dry is just sort of upside down. It doesn't take long. It takes about half an hour. Okay, so once your hypo cement has cured, uh, I like to make the wrap loop before I do the final bend. So in this case, See how this, eventually, this wire will bend this way. But I like to do the loop first. That way the bead, the flower bead itself, is not getting in the way of that loop. So take your chain nose pliers again. You're going to uh, about 3 four, seven inch down on the head pin. Go ahead and make your 90 degree angle. If you need more details on creating a wrapped loop, um, there is a separate video on this DVD for just that purpose. And there are step-by-step -step instructions in the book as well. So feel free to take a close-up look of that. So when you're happy with your loop, then you're going to go ahead and create your bend here so that you can finish up. Finish up your piece and then you simply attach the ear wire. Similar to how you would open a jump ring, you simply just bend it rather than pulling it. There we go. Slide on the loop you've just made. Close it again. And there is your finished earring. Complete all these steps with your remaining um, findings to create a second earring to complete your pair.